Hello, this is Tyler Young with Go Engineer Tech Support, and today I want to show a video inside of SolidWorks Composer using the cutting planes. Now the cutting planes are found here under the Author tab over on the right. Now the cutting planes will create a cut through your model, very similar to what a section view will do inside of SolidWorks. So I'll, I'll just show a couple different ways you can use them. We'll click on the Create to create our cutting plane, and as you see, when I start mousing over my model, I get this red arrow. The cutting plane is going to be normal to this arrow. So you can see we can create cutting planes at different angles, and that will cut through our different model. In this case, I actually want this cutting plane to be normal to the z-axis, so I'm just going to click that. That'll flip that over there. So now I'm just on the z-axis, going to create this cutting plane. One thing we can also do is we can apply the cutting plane only to certain selections. So if I click the handle and then control click these two cover faces and then select apply to selection, that's going to make my cutting plane only cut through those specific material or specific actors. This way we can gaze just inside the cover or into that kind of that cook area there without actually moving any of the geometry or any of the actors. If we want to then hide the cutting plane that we use, we can come over to our properties and change the opacity. So if I change that opacity, you don't see it anymore, which is kind of what I like. So I'm going to come in and turn this cutting plane off by clicking on the collaboration actor, expanding my cutting planes, and just unchecking the box for cutting plane. Okay, I'm going to create two more. I'm going to use those for a union mode, which I'll show you here in a second. So I'll turn that one off. And another one. and then I will hide that one as well. Okay, so now when I turn all three of these on it cuts just a section or a quarter of my model. This union mode flips and now you get most of your material or model and it only hides a part of it. So in this case only this bottom half is being hidden. So that's that, but I actually want to cut just this top sort of section here so I can do that by flipping my cutting planes. I'll select the cutting plane and then come click the flip button. That flips which side of the plane is being cut away or hidden. So if I flip all three of them, I then get my view that I'm wanting and I can just gaze straight into my little um, cook area without having to move or change any of the geometry. So this was the cutting plane tool. I hope that you have found this helpful. Thanks.